Always low, low prices at Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza. GOP nominee Donald J. Trump revealed fresh fiscal plans during his address at the Economic Club of New York as he vows to keep communism in the past and freedom in our future. During his remarks, the U.S. 47th presidential hopeful detailed his intent to create a government efficiency commission spearheaded by an already confirmed Elon Musk if elected. Let's check it out. The average American household saw a $197,000 increase in real net worth in 48 months. For the bottom 50% of households, average wealth more than doubled, increasing by 121%. Lowest income people benefited the most. After 12 years of decline, we added nearly 7 million new homeowners. Never happened before. And in three years, we created 7 million new jobs, 260% more than projected when I took office. Trump pledged to cut the corporate tax rate from 21% to 15% for companies that create products here in the USA. At the suggestion of Elon Musk, who has given me his complete and total endorsement. That's nice, smart guy. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. It's very, very much appreciated. I will create a government efficiency commission task with conducting a complete financial and performance audit of the entire federal government and making recommendations for drastic reforms. We need to do it. Elon Musk has stated his eagerness to serve America with no pay title or recognition needed. Elon, because he's not very busy, has agreed to head that task force. Be interesting. If he has the time, it'll be a good one to do it. But he's agreed to do it. 45 eyes to create a sovereign wealth fund during his second presidential term. In 2022, fraud and improper payments alone cost taxpayers an estimated hundreds of billions of dollars. As the first order of business, this commission will develop an action plan to totally eliminate fraud and improper payments within six months. This will save trillions of dollars, trillions. It's massive. For the same service that you have right now, trillions of dollars is wasted and gone and nobody knows where it went. The first U.S. presidential debate between President Donald J. Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris hits this Tuesday at 6 p.m. our time on ABC. I'm Maria Centers with News 25 Las Vegas.